please welcome the president of Audi of America, Scott Keogh. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'd like to extend a uh, special welcome to our Audi AG colleagues, Professor Dr. Ulrich Hockenberg, member of the board responsible for technical development. And Luca DeVeo, member of the board responsible for sales and marketing. And of course, Matthias Mueller and his colleagues from the board of Porsche AG. Thank you very much. And of course, the American side of the house, my colleague here in the States, our COO, Mark DeRoso. Mark. Now, I promised that would be the end of the introductions, because we have some cars uh, to get to. So today, we want to really dive into something that's far more important than a typical product launch. Indeed, today's announcement really marks a new chapter for this brand in America. You know, and if you look at the States, Audi has had plenty of, let's say, promise. But really, the trick has been converting that promise into performance. And in order to do that, it required one key ingredient. We needed to prove ourselves as a brand to the U.S. market, and more importantly, the U.S. consumer. Now, not proof with gimmicks, sales stunts, or discounts, but proof through a sustainable business model. And really, the results speak for themselves. November will be our 35th consecutive month of record sales. Now, thank you. If you can imagine, it once took us 40 years to reach 100,000 units in this market. This year, we did it in eight months. And we expect another record year in 2013 as well, selling more than 150,000 units here in the U.S. Now, clearly these are the vital signs of a healthy business. These are the results of an unwavering plan, really based on four key premises. We needed to build desire for this brand. Today, we are currently the second most cross-shop luxury brand, and our consideration levels are at record highs. The other thing we needed to do is really build value. Smart supply, strong residual values, and a dealer network that is investing. Today, Audi residuals are higher, our incentives are lower than our German competitors, and Audi dealers across the country are investing $1 billion on facilities. And if you look at the blue sky value of these franchises, they soar to seven times earnings, some of the best and the strongest in the industry. The other key thing across a strong brand needs pricing power. Today, the average transaction price of an Audi vehicle is $10,000 higher than it was in 2009. And, important, we reinvented the Audi customer experience while enhancing our reputation for quality. In fact, just a few weeks ago, Consumer Reports ranked Audi fourth place in climbing in its annual reliability survey, the best European manufacturer. That was how we proved ourselves in and to the U.S. market. Now, Audi is positioned to build all of this foundation, and that brings me to the second thing we needed to convert all of this promise into real performance. We needed a breakthrough compact sedan designed for American taste from the start. One loaded with technology and refinements like Quattro, leading edge electronics that represent a true and proper Audi. Now, I've also learned to be a little bit careful when we asked for something from Audi engineers. We asked for one sedan, and look what we got in terms of this magical portfolio. Not one spectacular new car, not one model with two engine options. No, we are here to launch an entire new family of vehicles. One made up of three body styles, five unique engines, and seven variants. The stunning all-new Audi A3 lineup we are introducing today shows Audi isn't just dipping a toe into this market, this segment, we are absolutely diving in full effort. Between now and 2018, this one sleepy segment is expected to grow by a factor of four. This A segment, as we call it, alone, will account for 57% expected growth of the entire luxury market. Now, obviously, that's not territory for the timid or the faint of heart, and that's why Audi intends to go after this opportunity with full force. So, who are the target group? Who are the buyers for this A3? Now, many, many in the press and many journalists have written lengthy reports of how important it is for brands to connect the Gen Y, the millennials. In response, we see some brands are completely reinventing themselves to appear to these younger buyers, undergoing million dollar makeovers. Audi's true competitive advantage is that we do not need to reinvent ourselves. 
for years. Audi has been outpacing our competition in appeal to Gen X and Gen Y. And we know as these generations replace boomers in purchasing power, that appeal will be even more valuable. So while certain other luxury car brands are spending hundreds of millions on their makeovers, Audi is more comfortable in its skin than ever. But to us, the true appeal of the A3 isn't based on the year of your birth, it's based on a series of traits and characteristics we are defining as Generation Audi. And what makes someone Generation Audi? Clearly a curiosity for technology, an appreciation of brilliant design, smart decisions that tell the world you're sporty, you're sophisticated, you are progressive. We are extremely confident that we've got the car for Generation Audi. Whether they're 55 and older, the people who make up 40% of car purchases, by the way, here in the States, or 25 and just getting started. Now, there is also another theory out there that to get a compact luxury car to a particular price point, you need to cut corners, scrap premium finishes, and skimp on technology. But the Audi way is to build cars to the highest possible standards rather than the lowest common denominator. Allow me to introduce the first two members of the Audi A3 family. Thank you. The A3 sedan and the S3 sedan. We committed to the philosophy that smaller doesn't have to equal sacrifice. That our customers would expect us to provide the same technology in the car that they get from their devices in every other facet of their lives. We committed to a $29,900 starting price point that actually includes leather seating, includes xenon headlamps, and a panorama sunroof. The A3 also comes with an entire series of firsts. First car with 4G LTE on board. The first car in this segment with MMI Touch. The first car in the segment with available full LED lighting. And the A3 features the only retractable infotainment screen in this segment. And not just the only one in the segment, but one of the absolute best overall. Yeah. It's got the thinnest screen, incredibly high resolution and clarity, powered by the same NVIDIA technology that is delivering graphics to a host of Android smartphones and tablets today. And with a pioneering touchpad and navigation wheel combo, easier and more intuitive than ever to access content. The A3 delivers another first to the US market as the first car in the world featuring embedded 4G LTE connectivity. This allows a dozen advanced new features such as picture navigation, read out loud Twitter alerts, flight updates, enhanced parking finder, and access to more than 7,000 internet radio stations. But what we think A3 drivers will truly enjoy is the speed. We are talking about wireless technology seven times faster than 3G. That means Google Earth and Google Street View navigation, mapping, or video streaming without any lag. It means true broadband performance for up to eight devices inside the vehicle. Put simply, never before has a vehicle performed so well on the information superhighway. But of course, we haven't forgotten about the real highway either, because there are more traditional measures of speed for a car, and I want to introduce, of course, the magnificent Audi S3. Fans have been pleading for a performance-oriented model. We listened, and here it is. The all-new S3 sedan has an estimated 290 horsepower, quick-shifting dual-clutch S-tronic transmission, sport suspension, and available 19-inch wheels. This is a car that takes its place in the proper and powerful lineage of Audi S models. Offer a degree of performance American drivers truly enjoy. The S3 will join the ranks of the S4, S5, 6, 7, and 8, which are currently delivering up to 20% mixes in their respective areas. These cars, the all-new A3 and S3 sedans, will, will absolutely be a vehicles allowing Audi of America to sprint to the milestone of 200,000 units in this country far, far sooner than anyone has ever expected. Now, I'd like to welcome a very special guest today, Professor Dr. Ulrich Hackenberg, the Audi AG board member in charge of technical development, who will continue our story from promise to progress by introducing another very special Audi A3. Professor Hackenberg.
Thank you, Scott, for the friendly introduction, ladies and gentlemen. For me, it's today the second press conference because I'm just coming from Tokyo, where I also made the press conference. So it's a personal record, two press conferences, one day in two continents. Okay. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the broad variety of the Audi A3 family is a perfect example for what we can do thanks to our module strategy. This concept is one of our unique selling propositions. It's a way to standardize manufacturing processes across all model, mod, uh, model families. This makes us more flexible and more effective. And even more, our module strategy supports innovative technologies. At Audi, we have a strong legacy of innovation around sustainable mobility and premium quality. Audi is the premium brand worldwide that actually lives this value. It's our brand DNA. Innovation leadership, it's customer focus and best-in-class efficiency that are our key values. Not only to be successful in the premium segment, but also to offer sustainable mobility solutions with a focus on reliability. And this is what I would like to talk about today, the innovation focus of Audi. When we talk about the best solutions for everyday mobility, we should simply listen to our customers. What do they expect from alternative drive systems? Cars need to support people's everyday mobility. In urban traffic, emissions-free driving should be available. Long distance trips or vacation shouldn't be a problem. And battery charging needs to be quick and easy. And most important, cars with alternative drive systems need to be affordable and cost-effective. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce the new Audi A3 e-tron. The Audi A3 e-tron you see on the stage is the benchmark on our way to sustain mobility. The Audi A3 e-tron is part of a greater system solution. It brings alternative drive concepts to the street of the world. In urban settings and stop and go traffic situations, like here in Los Angeles, you switch to the electric mode and drive with zero emissions over a range of up to 50 kilometers. The combination of a powerful combustion engine and an electric motor integrated into a six-speed double clutch gearbox allows for long-range trips and is fun to drive. This is exactly the level of flexibility our customers are looking for. Among the unique selling propositions of the Audi A3 e-tron, we also have its best-in-class performance. We have its sporty and dynamic handling and its top quality and premium fitting. In other words, alternative drive technologies at Audi show exactly the same performance and the same comfort level as any other Audi. Take a look at the competition in the premium compact car segment with alternative drive frames. There is no other vehicle like the Audi A3 e-tron. The US is the world's biggest market for electric vehicles and we are confident the A3 e-tron will make its way onto your streets. US market introduction for the A3 e-tron is planned for early 2015. Ladies and gentlemen, personally, I am 100% committed to the core brand value of Audi, and that's Vorsprung durch Technik. And so is my team worldwide. You will see a great variety of fascinating products in the future, all of them based on high-tech gasoline and TDI engines and alternative drive systems. Each of them will be a true Audi, will be very sporty and emotional, will have the best quality, and each of them highly efficient, uh, will be highly efficient and sustainable. This is the promise of Audi, and this is the future of mobility. Now, Luca De Mio, Audi board member for marketing and sales, will now give you a personal outlook. Thank you very much for your attention. Luca, to the stage. So, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon, uh, as uh, Professor uh, 
Happy Markets. Just say that Audi is a synonym of, uh, for innovation and uh, for emotion. And as a sales guy, we just kind of exaggerate always a little bit the things. I would even say that Audi is a synonym for passion. Yeah, for passion for racing. Yeah, for for example, from uh, from the legendary silver arrows uh, to the thrilling uh, uh, Sport Quattro, and now more recently our dominant. Uh, and I'm looking at our friends from Porsche, our dominant Le Mans. Uh, prototypes, yeah. Passion, uh, <laughs> passion, passion uh, for uh, cutting edge technology. So some technology that set uh, standards in the industry, like the legendary quattro all-wheel drive or the LED uh, light. And obviously, passion for performance. You see on the stand from the cars like the R8. Uh, it's a supercar, and to our fascinating. Uh, 506, uh, uh, 560 horsepower R uh, RS7 uh, that was uh, recently launched uh, successfully in the, in the U.S. And the 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 same the same yeah uh, kind of passion animated our engineers and uh, our de designers developing I think one of the most fun to drive and most uh, attractive uh, compact uh, cabrios uh, on the planet. Ladies and gentlemen, I, let me introduce you to the new A3 Cabrio. Very, very nice car. It's a, actually a completely, completely new car. And it's the only model in the segment that comes with uh, uh, Quattro uh, technology, Dr. Hackenberg. Yeah, I know that he's very keen on this. So just in case you want to you want to go snowboarding on the mountains in uh, Snow Valley here in California in the morning and then cruise back uh, you know, on Sunset Boulevard in the afternoon. And this is here uh, possible. So this is great design, premium quality, technical innovation, every single piece and of course uh, thrilling, thrilling driving dynamics. This is uh, what defines Audi, as we said before. And the customer in the US in particular are recognized all of this. Audi has become, as Scott said, the, let's say the best European brand in this year's uh, consumer report reliability ranking. So your heads and your hearts can lead uh, to the same uh, uh, decision. Audi sells uh, more sporty cars in the US than anywhere else in the world. That makes us uh, happy, of course, and encourages us to continue with this approach. Since 2011, we have seen the complete renewal of the Audi RS lineup, uh, Frank, and uh, after the great success of, of the TT RS, uh, we launched the RS5, uh, great car, great success. We In April, we launched the new RS5 uh, Cabrio, and then, uh, uh, let's say, just a few weeks ago, as I said, uh, we launched the RS7. Uh, this is really uh, an highlight. This is a car that is uh, boosting the emotional connection with uh, the brand and uh, I can't say it better than uh, one journalist here in the US uh, wrote, uh, he said uh, there are many luxurious sedans uh, on uh, the roads these days but none of them looks as primarily dashing and sensually satisfying as the new Audi RS7. So never before has Audi offered a wider range of uh, sporty and RS models and uh, I can tell you also that uh, we are not finished. There will be more to come. We will focus on establishing Audi Sport uh, and the red uh, rhombus uh, as the symbol of the top uh, of the hand uh, uh, range of Audis. We will leverage the connection uh, between motorsports and uh, series production models uh, even more in the future. And we will upgrade and create a dedicated uh, environment uh, in order to offer unique purchases and ownership uh, experience to these uh, automotive uh, enthusiasts that normally buy RS models. Ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, another step forward in the, our effort to become uh, the leading uh, premium brand uh, uh, worldwide. We are the leader in Europe, we are the leader in Asia, and we know we have to try hard to catch up with our two uh, German, other German competitors in the US. But uh, I think with today's announcement, uh, uh, when they look in their rear view mirrors, uh, they will find that we are indeed closer than uh, we appear. So thank you very much for your attention. And now please uh, come. Uh,